Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're gonna do uh, your weekly reading. This is Anything Goes. Uh, so please remember it is a general reading. Timing uh, is flexible. Uh, everything else you need to know is in the description box. I do have uh, a playlist link, uh, information for personal readings, and then also uh, my new channel called Heal to Love 333, which is meditation, manifestation, and healing. And uh, I do incorporate Reiki energy into the meditation videos uh, for healing. I am a Reiki therapist. So check those out. Some of the popular um, videos are the heart chakra, the root chakra, and also uh, manifesting your true love. So check those out if you like. I do appreciate it. Subscribe, like, uh, comment, and let's get started with your reading. So we already have one message flying out for you. So I'm pulling two cards here uh, from the Animal Spirit Oracle. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> let's see what we have here. Okay. So you have the rhino spirit, which is number 15, overcome any obstacle. So you may be going through some sort of transition or there may be a challenge that um, is going to come up or you may be going through that right now. But this is telling you that you're going to definitely persevere through that. Okay, rhinos are very strong. Uh, there's angel wings here. So I feel like you have angel guidance as well. So know that you're gonna be able to overcome whatever this transition, this conflict or obstacle is for you. You also have number five, another number five. So if you're seeing uh, uh, synchronicities of fives, uh, this will definitely resonate. You have the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. So I feel like whatever this challenge is, this obstacle is, it's going to bring about a transformation. Uh, may even a new beginning for you too. I feel too, whatever this challenge or this obstacle is, it's, uh, I feel, it, you know, this is definitely like that hangman energy, seeing things from a different perspective, all right? Or maybe there is something here that is, is um, being sacrificed. And I'm actually gonna pull one more. Let's get one more message for Pisces. Look at that. I knew there was another message that needed to be shown. You have number, of, oh my gosh, it's another five, 59, 14, and five. You have three fives here. So you may be seeing fives or you're going to be seeing fives. You have starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. So I feel there's a challenge or a conflict that you're going through or something you're having to sacrifice right now but it's going to open doors for you, okay? It's gonna show you that there are infinite possibilities in the situation. I feel too, this is that energy of don't let your um, thinking be limited, uh, be open to uh, new experiences, okay? So there is definitely a transformation here that's bringing about either something you've been hoping for, wishing for, okay, I get that with the starfish uh, spirit, but this obstacle challenge, whatever it is for you, it's putting you where you uh, need to be to receive your abundance, to receive your blessings. Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple more shuffles and then we'll pull the tarot. Okay, let's cut the cards. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces for the week? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. So you have the three of pentacles. You have the king of wands. And you have the death card, okay, card of transformation or Scorpio energy. 
bottom of the deck here you have the knight of of cups so definitely with this knight of cups there is some sort of change happening um i feel well when this three of pentacles card came out i was feeling the energy there may be somebody um, that you may be feeling that is blocking you in some sort of way or maybe this person um, is being difficult in some sort of way so there is some sort of collaboration or working together is the energy that i am getting now um, you could be dealing with a capricorn a taurus or a virgo so that can be this obstacle okay there may be a third party involved in your situation uh, and they may be trying to block something or they're, you know, I, I'm going to say, or maybe they're in the way of achieving whatever goal. It can be in love as well, but um, this can have to do with career, work, love. I, uh, the weeklies, anything goes. Okay, so whatever messages uh, you were meant to hear. Now you have the King of Wands. So it shows me there's some sort of action that's needed to be taken here, a working together. This is uh, Aries Leo Sag energy, and you have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So it's interesting. I feel if there is something, a situation where you're needing someone to take some sort of action, all right i do feel you have the well which is the nine of cups and the knight of cups i feel there's an energy here that there is going to be some sort of change or action that is going to happen and look what the next card is here you have the wheel of fortune so i do feel if you can uh work with this person whatever it is for you um, i feel like the situation is going to transform here with the death card now um it's going to bring about a new beginning and so it may be a different way you're looking at things as i said there's a rebirth here okay it's going to open doors for you so there's some sort of uh collaboration okay uh needed in this situation with this knight of cups it can even be a new love coming in for you okay you may be somebody who just came out of a hard relationship or a hard connection um, and so I feel there's a new relationship coming in that's very passionate okay and you may even meet this person through work or through friends or something like that but if it is not a work I mean if it's not a love situation I feel it has to do with uh, collaborating with other people or a person so let's pull a few more cards, see what else comes out. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Pisces? You have the Six of Cups. You have the Page of Wands. I hear barking. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm pet sitting for two other dogs. So let's see here. And you have the Star card here. All right, beautiful. And bottom of the deck, look at that. You have the magician. So you have this energy that you're manifesting, I feel, something beautiful. There's just some sort of collaboration that's needed or working together. Uh, or like I said, it can be a new relationship that's coming in for you. You have the Six of Cups. Okay, so Six of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. All right, so this can be just about collaborating for your own peace and happiness, you know, whether it's in a work situation, a family situation, um, or it can be if it's a relationship. Okay, like I said, you may, this is a new soulmate coming in, or it can be somebody that you've known from your past. Could be somebody um, that you were friends with in the past, somebody from your childhood I'm picking up. Now you have the Page of Wands, okay? Page of Wands with the King of Wands. So there's definitely um, some sort of communication coming in if this is love for you, all right? Somebody who's very passionate, somebody who goes after what they want. I feel um, this person could even be a little bit younger than you. 
Now, if this is not about love, I'm getting here. This is um, this collaboration or this working together or seeing things from a different perspective. This change I see happening is really going to uh, spark the passion within you. Okay, so there's something that is just I feel here is going to click. Um, it's almost like you are going to see things in a whole different light than maybe how you saw them before. And it's just going to spark that passion. Now look at this beautiful energy here. You have the star card. Okay, this is things aligning for you. This is very hopeful energy. This is uh, wishes coming true. All right, wishing upon a star. So I feel you're going through a transformation. So some of you may be coming, you may have recently gone through um, an ending of a relationship, but I do feel here you have something very new coming in. I feel too this new person coming in is somebody who is going to uh, make you feel passionate again. And I feel like you're still healing too here with the star card. And for others, um, I just feel, you know, whatever this transition you're going through, whatever this obstacle you're overcoming is really putting you where you are destined to be. Okay, it's, and you're going to feel very passionate again. There's something you're going to feel excited about, I get here too. Some of you may be going back to school. Uh, there may be some, uh, some sort of new project you're working on that you're you're very passionate about so let's pull a few more cards thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what additional message oh gosh i can't talk here <laughs> what additional messages do you have for pisces i took a mucinex dm and you know sometimes they make me feel a little jittery let's get a couple look at that wheel of fortune beautiful Knight of Wands and the Artist. Okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel there's something very beautiful coming in for you, something that you're going to feel really happy about, excited about. Uh, even celebrating, I feel, maybe good news with your friends. There's some sort of communication coming in as well. Uh, in your situation, you have the wheel of fortune. So I feel you're coming out of something, okay, something that ended, uh, you're going through a transformation here and there are blessings coming in for you. This is right next to the starfish spirit. Open to the infinite possibilities, okay, because there are blessings coming in for you. You just have to be open to it, okay? So like there is some sort of block here. It's either you're needing to see things from a different perspective, all right? Or you're having to work with someone, collaborate, teamwork, okay? Or for others, it's, it's a, a situation in love. You have the Knight of Wands. So very passionate energy here with the King of Wands, Page of Wands. Knight of Wands for some, this is your next new love coming in for you. For others, I just feel this is the passion that is really being sparked within inside of you. And then you have the artist. So a lot of creative energy, okay? Uh, like I said, some of you may be actual artists or do something of the arts, uh, but there are blessings coming in for you. And I do see here a lot of happiness. Now, if this is love for you, this artist uh, can be about uh, strategy here, okay? I also see, you know, this is the same as the Seven of Swords. I don't see this as bad intentions in this reading or, you know, uh, someone hiding something. Um, but I do see this as also like you just came out of something that was uh, hurtful, painful. There was an ending, a transformation. You're healing, and this is about uh, moving on from a past situation and moving towards a new relationship, if this is love for you. So very uh, nice energy there for you. So I'm going to close out the reading. I don't know what cards I want to pull. I think I'll pull some Wisdom of the Oracle. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what other messages do you have for the collective? All right. 
Oh, I think I have my deck upside down. I do. Beautiful. Okay. So bottom of the deck here, you have the yin energy. So very, very nice. This is um, the yin and uh, the yang energy. Okay, so this is about balance. I feel here too with the two, there may be some sort of decision here, okay, that you're needing uh, to make. I feel um, there is an energy here of, you know, yin and yang is about giving and receiving. So there may be something here where you're having to give a little bit in the situation is what I'm getting. And like I said, um, I do feel there's an obstacle here. So there, and there is a sense of needing to collaborate, uh, you know, and if it's about love, it, it may be that some of you are needing to open up to new love, all right? Seeing things in a different perspective, but you have here by the book. So, Number 11, okay, again, one's new beginnings right after this death card, all right? So I feel like Pisces, you could be somebody who's used to doing things a certain way, and that's where I feel like um, the guidance here is for you to see things in a different perspective or whatever this ending here was, I feel it's going to change your outlook um, to look at things in a different way than how you did before. And look here, and then you have Treasure Island, okay? This is going to bring about your blessings, okay? Your abundance. So it's coming in for you, and it's really amazing here. It's right here with the Six of Cups, Page of Wands, the Star, the Treasure Island. So your blessings are coming in for you. There's no doubt about that. You're being positioned here. Um, and then you have uh, number 45, which is also a nine, two nines here. Time to go, okay? So I feel this is that energy. This is time to go to move on, on your path, okay? You're headed for success here. Another number nine, a dusty number. I feel too, this is like your calling. For those of you who this is about your passions, this is your calling. You're being called to uh, your passions here. So beautiful energy. There are blessings coming in for you, Pisces. Uh, the only blockage I see here is you needing to see things from a different perspective or being open to some sort of change that is taking place. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. Again, details are below for the giveaway and my new channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.